Hi everyone. Welcome to Azure API Management Service tutorial. I am Arokya Das. In this video, we will learn about Azure API Management Service, how to create Azure API Management instance in Azure portal and import an Azure function app as an API in Azure API Management. Now, let's go into the content. First, let's see what is Azure API Management Service. It's a fully managed platform as a service that helps developers to securely expose their APIs to external and internal customers. It has a set of tools and services to create, publish and manage APIs and enforce security, scaling and monitoring of API usage. Next, it has integration with Azure services to create enterprise solutions such as Azure Monitor for logging, Microsoft Enter ID for developer authentication and request authorization. It is also integrated with VNet, private endpoints, application gateway, and Azure Front Door for network level protection. Also, it can be used with a variety of backend services such as Azure Functions, Logic Apps, and web apps and so on to build and host APIs on Azure. Now let's see how Azure API management works. It works by providing a layer between API clients and the backend API services that they access. When a client makes a request, it's first sent to the API management gateway. The API management gateway is responsible for enforcing security policies, rate limiting and other policies on the API. If the request is allowed by the gateway, it is then forwarded to the backend API service. The backend API service processes the request and sends a response back to the API management gateway, which in turn sends the response back to the client. Next, let's see what are the API management components. Azure API management is made up of an API gateway, a management plane and a developer portal. First, let's see what's an API gateway. So all requests from client applications first reach the API gateway, which then forwards them to respective backend services. It verifies API keys, JWT tokens, certificates and other credentials, enforces usage quotas and rate limits. Also, caches response to improve response latency if configured. AP management also offers two types. One is managed and self-hosted gateways. So, the managed gateway is the default gateway component that is deployed in Azure for every API management instance in every service tier. Next, self-hosted. It's useful for hybrid multi-cloud scenarios where there is a requirement to run the gateways outside of Azure in the same environments where API backends are hosted. So next is the management plane. So another important component of API management gateway is the management plane. The API providers interact with the service through the management plane, which provides full access to the API management service and capabilities. It also provisions and configure the API management service settings, package API products, set up policies like quotas or trans transformations on the APIs. Also, it helps to manage users. Next is the developer portal. The developer portal is there for developers who want to consume APIs in the API apps that they are building. Using this, they can read API documentation, call an API via interactive console, create an account and subscribe to get API keys, 
download API definitions and manage API keys. Next is the API management tires. So what is API management tires? The API management tire is nothing but a distinct combination of features, performance, capacity limits, scalability, SLA and pricing for different scenarios. The tires are grouped into classic, V2 and consumption. Classic means the original API management offering which includes the developer, basic, standard and premium tires. V2, it's a new set of tires that offer fast provisioning and scaling including basic V2 for development and testing and standard V2 for production workloads. And the next one is the consumption. The consumption tire is a serverless gateway for managing APIs that scales based on demand and build per execution. Next, let's see the key concepts that are used in the Azure API management. So one of the important thing to know is the products. Product is how APIs are surfaced to developers and have one or more APIs associated to it. A product can be open or protected. Open means no subscription key is required and can be consumed freely. Protected means it requires a subscription key. Next, let's see the groups. Groups manage the visibility of products to developers. There are various groups and one of them is the administrator group. So the administrator group manage API management service instances, create APIs, operations and products. The developer group is the authenticated developer portal users who build applications using the APIs. Guest group is the unauthenticated developer portal users. Then let's see policies. Policies can change API behavior through policy configuration. It's a collection of statements executed sequentially on the request or response of an API. Some of the popular policies are format conversion from XML to JSON, call rate limiting to restrict the number of incoming calls from a developer. Now let's see the prerequisites. For this tutorial, you need to have an Azure account with valid subscription and an Azure function app created in the subscription and functions must have HTTP here and authorization level set to anonymous or function. If you need any help to create Azure function app, please watch the YouTube video Azure function app node.js vs code. You can find the tutorial link in the subscription. Now let's move on to the steps and hands on how to import to function app and test. So for this, First, we will create a new Azure API management instance. Next, import Azure function app as an API into that instance. Then finally, we will test the API from Azure portal as well as from the browser. Now, let's go to the Azure portal and create the new Azure API management instance. I have signed into the Azure portal. So in the search box, type API management services and so select this one then click create button and in the basics tab so select your resource group if you have already one or create a new one then select the region then the resource name more than the organization name then enter a valid email id then 
next select the pricing tier so here i will go for the consumption plan to avoid unnecessary costs so next click on the monitor and secure so here i don't need any option so i will go to the next virtual network so here since we have selected consumption plan this virtual network and private endpoints are not available so next click managed identity so i don't need a one then click next tags then click review and install so here we can see the api overview details here now click the create button to create the api management instance so this will take a few minutes to create the api management instance so let's wait until the instance is created so the new azure api management instance creation has been completed now let's go to the instance and proceed with the importing of function app into this api so for this let's go to the api and import the function app so before that let's go to the function app service and check if the function app is working correctly or not so let me click this and i have already created a function app with a node.js application so let's test it now let me go to the function detail and get the url and check whether it is working or not so once i invoke this function so it will return the response welcome to azure function app so now let me click this get function url and check if it is returning the response correctly or not so let me copy this url and paste it in the browser and check so we know that now the function app is working perfectly as it has returned the response welcome to azure function app now let's go to the api management screen and import the function app so as we have clicked this api item it will display the services which it is integration is possible now let's select this function app so here we will go for the full service and here click this browse button to import the function app here you can select this service so by default since we have selected selected the function app it says the function app click this select button and it will display the list of function apps available in your subscription so i select this one click select and it will be imported here now select this and we can see here the details the function of details so the url and so on now let's click create to import the function up to this instance so we can see that the function app has been successfully imported to this azure api management instance so here if you see this our function app is displayed here and this side the details for this function app so here this is the design we have get and post methods and this settings option so here we can change the api settings as we require then so first we will go for testing the api from the azure portal itself so click this test button and click on the get method to check whether the api 
invokes the function of correctly and returns and the function of returns the response properly so here now we have selected the get method and click on the send request so it is successful we can see that the http status code is 200 and the response has been returned successfully welcome to azure function app now let's select this click copy this url and check if we can invoke it from the browser so here we get a message status code 401 access denied due to missing subscription key so we need to provide a subscription key to invoke this api so let's go to the api settings and check the status so here you can see that the subscription required has been checked that means whenever we invoke this api we need to provide a subscription key so for our simple testing i will remove this and click save so whenever i invoke this api it will not ask for a subscription key so once this is checked means you need to set the header and provide the subscription key whenever you test or whenever you call this api now let me call invoke this api so we can see that now we are we are able to successfully call this api from the browser because it has returned welcome to azure function app response successfully so in this tutorial we have learned the various functionalities such as how to create an azure api management instance and how to import a function app and we have tested this from the azure portal as well as from the browser now let's clean up the resources that we have created so that we can avoid unnecessary costs so let's go to the home screen and select the resource group and we can see the list of resources that we have created so this is the api management instance and this is the app service plan for the function app and this is the function app and this is the storage account so let's delete all of them so i think it will take some time to all these resources get deleted so that's all in this video we have learned how to import function app into the azure api management instance thank you for watching this video please like subscribe and share to your friends if you found this video useful thank you